Okay, here we are back from the fourth session of the Fast Pairs. This is board number 12. And this was <clears throat> by far our worst board of the day, I think, uh, certainly of this session. Um, so I opened this hand three spades. What do you think of my three spade bid op opening, Greg? Uh, I really like being extra aggressive when you're six five like this. Yeah. I mean, two uh, spades doesn't do the hand justice. No. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I heard somewhere that the, the two most effective preempts in bridge are three spades and four hearts. Um, so, <laughs> so I like to make those bids when I can. So I bid three spades. And your four spade bid is pretty obvious. And now South bid four no trump. Um, which... Is some sort of two suited hand. And I bid five clubs. Now, the reason that I bid five clubs in my head was a couple, a couple fold, right? One, most importantly, I wanted to kind of tell you that I had an unusual preempt, a two suited sort of hand, so that you would have a better idea of what to do. Um, over five hearts or five diamonds or whatever it might be. Um, and also, if they ended up north playing five of a red suit, I wanted to help you get off to a better lead than a spade. Um, so that was my thinking. I realized as I was doing it that there was a chance that I might make the same bid with a club void trying to get a, uh, a lead. But I think this hand is much more common uh, and maybe I should never do it with a void for that reason. Yeah, that... I don't. I don't like that the idea of doing it with a void because one of the purposes of showing your second suit here is helping your partner know whether they should compete and save. Right. And yeah. you know, if if I want to save over five diamonds, uh, you know, it could be a lot cheaper knowing if we have a double fit or if we have a misfit. I want to defend. Exactly. So yeah, that was... it, it's very very important that these bids be natural. Yeah, that was certainly my thinking. Um, and so then I was surprised when five clubs got passed. Um, and then they bid five diamonds and you doubled. And I was like, I, I didn't understand what was happening, but I was like, I kind of showed my hand. Um, and then... Yeah, somehow you got in with the ace of spades and switched to a club. And I was like, this is great. It's going to go like club to the queen and ace. And I'm going to give Greg a rough and then declare a showdown. <laughs> I was well, like, well, I didn't, pa I didn't pass five clubs with a doubleton, but um, <laughs> the, yeah. I, yeah. My, my jaw did drop a little bit when declare showed out. Yeah. And so we ended up taking our two aces, and that was it. When five spades is like making, uh, well, I mean, in in theory, they could beat even four spades, but in practice, no. Oh, right, if they get their club roughs, yeah, or at least from from your side. That's right. You were very proud of yourself that actually five clubs. <laughs> making game five clubs is the last making spot yeah okay so uh, so I, I think let's, let's lead off mm -hmm. with the one aspect of this hand that isn't me being dumb mm -hmm. wh that i think is important to mention which is the four no bid needs to be more flexible than just minors this isn't an unusual no trump spot yeah. Right, like South needs a way to describe a distributional two suited hand, they have no space to do it. For no Trump needs to be just two places to play, as you can see here. Yeah, um, now, <laughs> now that we've dispensed with that part of the hand, mm -hmm. I, I passed five clubs for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, I didn't particularly think that there was any chance that five clubs was going to pass out. Uh, I didn't think we were making anything at the five level. And uh, even though we have this big double fit, like I've seen, I know what your preempts look like. Uh, and I thought that 
in the unlikely event that it passed out, it would be 50 a trick. And I have this, we have this gigantic double fit. Five right. clubs will surely play about the same. Um, and there's only one player left that can act. And I didn't really want to save. I have a couple, you know, maybe a couple of defensive tricks, maybe three. I didn't, I mean, obviously, as you see, I doubled uh, five of a red suit. So I wasn't immediately looking to save. I was thinking this guy's going to bid, you know, he clearly has red suits. He's going to bid one of them. They're going to get somewhere and uh, I'm going to light it up and and we're going to get our, our sweet whatever uh, plus uh, I guess it would be 200. I think North South are vulnerable on board 12. Um, despite what BBO seems to think here. Yeah. Um, none of that actually happened. Uh, I was very proud of the fact that in theory, four spades can go down and five clubs is cold. Um, but it, it, I don't think anybody beat four spades. Right. Or, or, you know, stop. The, there were a number of people who got to some high spade contract. Right, because they have to lead a club and then under lead their ace king of hearts to get a second <laughs> rough. Yeah, right? yeah it's like, a little fantastic. Right, right. that's Greg holding up the result sheet. Like, double dummy says. I was so excited about that, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, right. I mean, you bid four spades to make, right? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know that it's... I'm not sure that it's making. I mean, I sure, you know, you, you don't have to have this crazy hand, and right. you know, I, I still do have a, quite a few losers. Um, but you're hoping, you're hoping to make it. I, I, it. It's unlikely to be down much more than one, right. if, if any. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then so when I thought, you go to the five level, your thinking is... You want to penalize them. Yeah, right? I thought we might have a good shot at making it. It looked like I had a couple of reasonable defensive tricks. You would try to get me off to a lead. And, um, you know, I mean, none of this is good thinking. I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time justifying my thought process on this disaster hand. No, no. I mean, um, I think, I, I think it's important to, to look at the hands where, you know, we got things wrong. Yeah. Um, also, it's worth noting too that that um, North. I don't think North knew what was going on either, because if if North was on the same page, I don't see why North wouldn't be bidding five hearts. Maybe North had the same thought process I did, which was that there's only one person left who can double this. Well, they do have five diamonds and four hearts. Well, sure, but like South should have at least eleven cards in these suits, and like how bad can I mean, if, if five of one red suit is making, isn't five of the other red suit going to be making as well? So match points, you're saying? Match hearts. points. As you can see on this hand, right. hearts is not good because we're getting a diamond rough. A piece of diamonds and a rough. But I don't know that that's really part of the calculation. I don't know. I, if I were north, I would be bidding five hearts all day. Would you bid it right over five clubs? Oh, uh, no. I think I would wait to see what develops because how can five clubs pass out <laughs> right i mean partner could have clubs and diamonds or clubs and hearts right partner could just be lighting right. this up yeah right partner could have minors like you know right. yeah sure you have no idea right. so maybe like when you pass five clubs maybe i should pull to five spades right like you're not passing with without some sort of fit and so yeah. if do have a double fit i don't need very much it's uh, true but I, I agree with your initial thought that you you have completely described your hand right yeah. like you preempted at the three level you made a five level bid right. like clearly i right and your hand could be just a little stronger like one more defensive trick and we like we actually aren't like if you you know maybe you don't have the ace of spades or something but you do have ace king of hearts or whatever it might be and we just are going down in five spades and we're setting them in five diamonds, yeah. right? Like I preempted you're the captain. Um, yeah, I think your decisions on this hand are pretty straightforward. You described well, your hand. That maybe the, the initial three spade. <laughs> maybe, but like having done that, you, you've yeah. described your hand. You have an ace. Like, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you. No, look I, was, I was actually pretty excited when you doubled. I was like. <laughs> I got him off to the right lead and I told him what the hand is and helped him make a good decision. Yeah. How um, excited were you when we were writing 750 in the minus column? Not not as much. Not as much. But like three little clubs and you take the ace of spades and then put a club through. Like I was I was pretty happy. 
um, until Declare showed out. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, one of the takeaways here is that even in a 68% game, you're going to have a disaster or two, mm -hmm. right? And um, we just kind of shook our head and moved on, right? And that's the most important thing in bridge, I think. Yeah, by far the most important thing to understand about this hand is that after we wrote a clear zero uh, in our yeah, result dude, column. We got 8% on this board. Excuse me. After we, we got our 8% on this hand, <laughs> we didn't spend the next 45 minutes, uh, you know, frowning at each other and griping about it and and stuff like that we said well you know like <laughs> right and that was a disaster and like we'll just get it back and in fact i think if i if i remember we walked away from this and said well that was about an average round i think we had an excellent result on the companion board and we're like well yeah, right. you know let's try not to do any more of that but like you know it's okay right yeah um yeah it's so easy to have a result like this derail you and your partnership mentally for the next six rounds that's right and that's right. no yeah. one can recover from that yeah uh, i think like the extent of it was i was like did you think my five clubs was natural yeah, yeah. and i think i said yeah i passed it what do you yeah. mean <laughs> right. like, okay then you know you made a judgment call and you were wrong but we're all going to be right on some and wrong on others and you know the most important thing as a partner is starting from the assumption that your partner has a brain, right? That partner is not doing things because they're an idiot. They have thought behind them, right? You have two aces on this hand. Like trying to set them at the five level is far from ridiculous. Um, so it's like, okay, we got it wrong, but there was thought behind it, even if it was flawed thought. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we got that disaster out of the way. Let's get to some good ones. We'll uh, check out the next video.